In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Life360 in the new SmartThings app, and it will have more integration than the previous version. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, if you're interested in building the ultimate smart home, check out the video description for the three simple steps to get started. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up Life360 in the new SmartThings app and fixing any problems that you may be having. If you go over to the menu and click on the settings cog at the top, what you need to do is find linked services. So that's right here in the middle. This used to be part of the smart apps in the, the classic smart things app, but now they've hidden it in the settings so no one can find it. So if we tap on linked services, these are all the linked services that I have. So I have Amazon Alexa, IFTTT, Life360 Connect, Ring Connect, and Bond Home. So if we go into the Life360 Connect, now you can see I have chosen my small geofence area I have also selected my users and here are all the users. Now if we go over to the classic app, you can see that my Life360 is all set up. Everything looks good and it's working, but in the new app it is not working. So what we need to do is we need to go back over to the new app and we need to delete the integration and replace it with a better integration. So just go up to the gear icon again and go down a little bit where it says linked services and click on Life360 Connect and click on the three dots at the top and click delete. Now click delete at the bottom of the page and just go back out of this Go back again and now go back into the linked services and now you can see that the life 360 is removed so now what we need to do is install some custom code and a device handler to set up the new integration all right so in the new app once you delete your life 360 out of the linked services section what we need to do is add it as a smart app so we're just going to go over to github and everything that you're going to need is going to be in the video description. So we come over here to this web page and TM Leafs created a smart app and a special device type, which is going to give us more information with Life360. So we need to install both the smart app and the device type. So let's go ahead and do the device type first. All we need to do is click on this link here, click on this file here and click on raw. Now over here, just hit control A on your keyboard to select everything, control C to copy. And then we need to come over to our SmartThings IDE and we're gonna go to the My Device Handlers at the top and you just want to create a new device handler. Click from code and paste in the code that we just copied. Click on create and go over to publish for me. All right, so we have the device type published. Now we need to come back over here and just hit the back button. And we need to now install the smart app. So click on smart app, click on the file here, click on raw, and then hit control A, control C, come back over to your smart things. Now in this, this time go to my smart apps, click on new smart apps from code again and paste in that code, click create and click publish for me. All right. So now um, what we need to do is actually go into the smart app. So click on app settings right here. And what we need to do is turn on OAuth. So we're just going to click enable OAuth in smart app. All you have to do is click on update. So what this is going to do for you is when you get this installed, 
these are all the capabilities. It's going to be able to tell the battery of the phone, the power source. It's going to be able to be used as a presence sensor, crash sensor, has a sleep sensor built into it. It can tell you the distance that you are away from a certain address, a previous address, the current address, um, the battery, the charge, last check-in, whether you're driving or in transit, um, longitude, latitude, speed, you're asleep or awake, all kinds of different stuff. And all of this stuff, it may not show in the SmartThings app, but it will show in Sharp Tools. All right, now all we need to do is go over to our new SmartThings app and add this Smart app into the new SmartThings app. So over in the new SmartThings app, all we need to do is click on the hamburger menu in the upper left corner, and we need to go to Smart Apps. And once in Smart Apps, we just need to hit the plus sign at the top. And now we need to find the Life360. So here it is, Life360 Connect by TM Leafs. Tap that. Uh, it says, you know, click here to enter your Life360 credentials. So here is where you would log in to your Life360. So just use your email and your password here. All right, now you're just going to link your account. So tap done at the top. All right, now once your account is linked, it will look like this. And then you just need to tap on the place that you want to use for your home. So what I have set up is a smaller geofence area than what I use in my smart things. That way we can have more specific things happen when we're close to home and then bigger things happen when we're further away from home using the built-in smart things presence sensor. So we're just going to tap on done here and click on next at the bottom. And then here you would want to choose your users. So you can either choose everyone here or you can just choose specific people. So we're just going to tap done on that and done at the bottom. All right now, so once it's done, it's going to take you back out to the Smart Apps section. And here you can see that the Life360 Connect shows in our Smart Apps now. So that is all ready to go. And if you did need to make any changes, you can just tap on it again and choose different settings. All right, so now when we go back and we tap on our hamburger menu and click on Devices, now we have, you see Anna here with a period at the end. Um, that is the Life360 sensor. All right, so what I like to do is I like to um, rename all of my like things in a similar manner. So what I'm going to go through and do is I am going to tap on the three little dots at the top, click on Edit, and I'm going to change the name, and I'm going to call it... So I'm just going to name each one of these present sensors Life360 with a dash, and then the name of who it is. All right, so now I have all of my present sensors renamed. So you see I have Life360 Anna, Justin, Lyra, and Michael, and it shows that mine is actually present. One thing I really hate about the new app is it's constantly checking status. It's constantly disconnecting. It's constantly doing all this stuff. Why can't they just hide that stuff? I mean, why do we need to know if it's checking the status? Just show us what the last status was, you know? It just makes it feel like it doesn't work right. But I am actually home um, because I'm recording this video. Um, and now we have all of our Life360 present sensors here. All right, so in the new app, it does show that I have arrived. Um, it also tells me the battery of my actual phone. Um, so you could use that in automations as well. Um, it would also have, um, since we just installed this, I don't have any history. But you could also see the history of when I've arrived, when I've left, stuff like that. And let's go ahead and actually look over at the Classic app and see how that looks. All right, so this is how it looks over in the Classic app. Um, so it says I arrived at 8.48 p.m., which is basically when we installed it. It says that I am home, and it tells you the address that I'm at. It would tell you the previous address if it had that information the battery, whether Wi-Fi is on or not, whether I'm moving or whether I'm driving, you know, all that stuff that we looked at before um, shows in the classic app. 
um, but we, we will be able to use all that stuff in Sharp Tools because Sharp Tools has access to everything that any device has. So you can use all of that in rules and automations as well. All right, so you can now see they are all showing here now. And if I tap on this, tap on my name, there is one other setting um, that I didn't show. So if we go up here and we go to settings, um, you would probably want to change your distance in units to the one that you're most used to using. Use miles, choose miles, and then tap OK. And I think you would have to do that for each of these sensors. Yep, you would have to do it for each one. Um, but once you do it once, then you're good to go. So I hope you found that video helpful. That's how you would add your Life360 present sensors to the new SmartThings app if it's not working for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.